Okay, class, this should be the last one for um, our mandatory viewing. Now, I hope you know what that means. Mandatory means you must view this, and I have sent this out with a letter with the syllabus and explaining some other rules and regulations for the class. So we should be up to date on everything. However, I want to go over the syllabus really quickly. I have emailed you the syllabus. The syllabus is on the top one or first or second segments of the page. So pull up the syllabus now if you have any questions. And it's also a good idea to take a look at the syllabus. So if I'm looking at the syllabus here, and I'm turning this a little bit so I can maybe sit down on the stool, um, what I want to talk to you about is, let's see, you've got the required textbook, you know it's the second edition. Uh, the class, basically you're going to be graded in four or five separate ways. You're going to be graded for vocabulary every single week, I believe. Almost every week there will be vocabulary. I have given you a list of 45 vocabulary words. They will come up during the readings or doing the viewings of the films that you will watch, and you will be responsible for those. And I will try and make note of which ones they are, and that ought to be fun. Next, you will be, there will be quizzes. Um, most likely there will be quizzes on the film, but there might also be quizzes on the readings from the book, Why Unions Matter. And then we have, so we have quizzes, we have forums, we have assignments, which are, I think the vocabularies are the assignments. So we have those three things. Plus we have the final exam and the midterm. So you've got four different kinds of ways of being, five different ways of, of grades. Uh, if you notice, each one of the weeks is said like week 10, we're going to watch Not So Jazzy. And as a matter of fact, that week there is no reading assignment. So there will probably be a forum for Not So Jazzy. And then we'll, you'll have union vocabulary. So then the next week you see week 11 is Read Chapter 4, Collective Bargaining, pages 83 to 94. And then there will also be Watch the Labor on the March and some union vocabulary. So each week is going to be packed. I don't think it's a lot of work, but it is quite a few different kinds of things. And the reason I think that is important is because you need to know the vocabulary, uh, just like with every other group, doctors, lawyers, Indian chiefs, everybody. And I do not mean to offend. Um, so every other group of people has their own vernacular. So labor education or labor unions do too. So we're going to be going over the vocabulary. My glasses are sparkling. And so each week we'll be having things like that. You'll be broken into groups for midterm and probably for the final. What I will do around the fourth week when we see how many people decide to leave the class in the first two or three weeks, um, when they can still leave without um, having any repercussions, uh, we will then break into four groups and you do not have to work with these groups until the midterm, but I find it really helpful if you know who's going to be in your group for the midterm to be able to work with them, or answer their forums, ask them questions, do some uh, student chat. Um, you can get in touch with emails, however you want to do it. So we'll do that, and then you'll probably be in the same group for finals, but I'm not sure yet. So you'll have those kinds of things going on. Now I want to get to where it says grading um, criteria. And also I want to